Okay, so um, a few months ago, I made a video called um, uh, Racism is Dead. And the reason why I made that video was because in my world, to me, it is dead because a lot of things that um, that people complain about, like white people do and stuff like that, it doesn't affect me. Like, at, it doesn't affect me at all, to be honest. Um, if you're good to me, I'm good to you. Uh, if, if, if you're bad to me, you know, there's a chance I might be bad back to you, you know. And that's whether you're a nigger or a cracker. It, it, I'm sorry to be so blunt about it, but that's just, you know, that's just me. Um, so, today, something very, uh, well, to me, funny happened. Um, you know, as you all know, I'm a photographer, and I have a photography company. And um, we have, like, these salespeople that go around, like, selling coupons for people to come take pictures with us. And... So, um... So, okay, the people, they sell the coupons or whatever, and they go up. You know, we have, like, booths. I don't know if you can see it. We got, like, um, these booths in the mall. And then we have, like, another booth down there. Well, some of the people said, well, can we go out and sell? Which I don't have a problem with you going out to sell. Okay, so, um... The employees that we have, they, they go, you know, different places. So, today, I get a call from the manager of the mall um, where I pay rent saying that um, he got a disturbing, he found out something that, that, the, that somebody was saying that they worked for a photography company in the mall scaring all the people in the Walmart parking lot. And I'm like, really? My first thought was, there's got to be some white people. Because <laughs> black people just don't do that, you know. Well, <laughs> scary. I'm like, scaring? What do you mean scaring? What, is this? what do you mean scaring? So we get back to the mall, and he's like, yeah, they said some guy with dreads, which one of the employees does have dreads, but he had like a $600 suit on now. Don't, don't forget to mention. And also... Two weeks ago, these two young black guys killed an old white man. And this is a very small town. They killed him. They, 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 they robbed him. Um, they followed him home from the ATM. They beat him to death. And they killed him. So, um, now today, now mind you, the employees have been out for like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. They go everywhere. They go all around town selling these coupons. Because I need some people to come take some pictures. Okay, I need, I, I have to, that's my form of advertising because I, you know, I don't want to pay like the radio station or TV station because that's no guarantee that people are going to come. But if somebody actually sells a coupon to somebody, that's a guarantee they're going to come. They may not come like ASAP, but they're coming, you know, because they've already purchased a coupon. They've already paid money. Um, so that's our method of, of marketing and, and getting customers to come in. Well... So, now mind you, the mall manager is white, and he's like, yeah, it's all over Facebook, it's all over Facebook that you have, uh, that the people there, there's some guy with dreads out there scaring all the people in Walmart. So now I'm like, alarmed, I'm like, what, really? You know? And then after I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? Sounds like some hoo-ha to me. Um, and so the guys, they, um... <laughs> They were at the mall waiting when we got here, so we told them, like, you know, what's, what's going on? Why is the guy saying, you know, that that you're in the Walmart parking lot scaring people? And they're like, we weren't scaring anybody. What are you talking about? I'm like, well, hmm. So then the, the manager comes, and he's like, well, I, sh I can show you on my Facebook. So I, I, pull up, I pull up on Facebook, and I didn't see anything. Okay. Then um, he's like, what's on my computer? So I go, we go on his computer, and we see that she posted a picture of those three. Like, they were, like, 
They weren't even talking to her. They were talking to somebody totally different. They were in the middle of a sale, actually. And she took a picture from them, like, and you could see, you could tell that she was hiding doing it because it was from the back. And she's like, these, what did it say? These people shouldn't, I wasn't threatened, but I was getting into my car and I said, no, I'm sorry. But they, when they approached me, um, I, I didn't feel threatened, but I feel like they shouldn't be allowed to do that. First of all, who gives the authority to allow anybody to do anything? And second of all, to do what? What did they do? Did they break a crime? Because the, the, the picture that she posted was on a secret group, crime watch group. So my thoughts was, uh, watch out for these niggas. So I had to ponder the question to myself, is racism still dead? And do I still feel that way? Yeah, I kind of do still feel that way because first of all, it was a secret group and all of the people that I saw that was on the group from the mall manager's computer were white. Most of our customers are black. So does that affect my business? No. <laughs> Not at all. And then the white people that do take pictures with us, you know, a lot of them um, are considered to be like mega lovers. <laughs> So, <laughs> they're probably not on that page anyway. Um, also, like, that was a dummy move because what if the guys decided to sue her? You know? What if my employees decided to sue her for uh, libel because you posted their picture on a Crime Stoppers webpage, whether it's secret or not? And it's not that secret because we saw, we all saw it. <laughs> It got out to it got back to us and we're not joined to the group. Me and my husband, we're not joined to the group. So, um Yeah, that was that was stupid on her part because you have their picture and you're the one that posted the picture, so your picture's right next to theirs. If they wanted to see you, they could because they're not they weren't committing a crime. So why are you putting them their picture on a crime website? A web web page, web group telling people to watch out for them as if they were criminals. Okay, so just because two niggas killed a white guy two weeks ago does not mean all the niggas you see walking around doing things are going to rob you. Like, they're doing the opposite of what those other two guys do. They're actually trying to make a living. They're not selling drugs. They're not pushing dope. They're selling pictures. And they, they, were, they do really good. They do really good. Sometimes they make $100 a day, which in Greenville, Mississippi, that's considered good. Um, so, yeah, I kind of still do feel that, you know, yes, that because, and who is she? Nobody. <laughs> no damn body. Who is the mall manager? Nobody. A means to get what I need to get. So that's how I feel. I mean, y'all put all y'all opinions out on a secret web page. Why, why don't you put it in well, I guess you wouldn't want the criminals to see you. I guess all the niggas are criminals. So, <laughs> you know, it's funny. They have like 30 comments, but he wouldn't show us all of them. He would just show us like the first ones that show up along with the picture. Which I'm thinking maybe he put some comments on it too. <laughs> but. Beginning okay. 39 So. Yeah, I still think it's dead, but not dead like in the sense that there aren't no races. Dead in the sense that they have no power. Like, they don't have any power over me. They don't have any power over anybody that I know because all the black people I know, they do what they want to do. <laughs> so, yeah, it, just, it, it was something that made me think, like, do I still feel that way? I kind of do. Does the fact that those certain people did what was to be considered a racist thing, does that make me say, well, I hate white people? I don't hate white people. Don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't. Not at all. I don't hate anybody. But I just understand, you know, I understand people. And I understand, like, what their true, what their place is in society. 
which is not what everybody thinks. It's not at the top of the totem pole like everybody else thinks. Huh? Hmm? Where? Oh. Spot it off! I can do all that talking again. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, I'm just really like, and they are, woo, those guys are scared. Like, man, we're going to sue, we're going to sue. Man, what can we do about it? What can we do about it? <laughs> they are pissed. They are pissed. And if I were them, maybe I would be pissed if somebody put my picture up there on a crime, like a crime watcher, crime stop, you know. I'd be, I'd maybe I'd be pissed too. I mean, it's my, and then they're representing my company, so I should be pissed, but I'm not because the reason why I'm not pissed is because none of those people are my target market. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if all of them said, we'll never shop at designer photography. They never did, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, now, when the niggas start saying, now we ain't going there, now we got a problem. Now Big Mama's stepping in. <laughs> but... It, 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 if somebody wants to be ignorant, you know, and do all kind of crazy stuff like that, and that's, that, like I said, that's stupid because they can sue her and she'll be out of money. You know, she'll be out of money. So if she wants to give the nigga guy that she thought was going to rob her some money, which she said she didn't feel today, so <laughs> if she wants to give them some money, it's better than stealing it from her. <laughs> you just take it from her because, she, cause, because of her ignorance, you know. So who win, who wins? You know, if they decide to sue, which I think they're thinking about suing. If they do, who's going to win? They are because they have the proof. Because they have the, they printed out the page. <laughs> they printed out the page. And it looks kind of crazy because they're all dressed up in nice suits and stuff. And you think they're going to rob you just because two niggas killed a white man two weeks ago. And all the people that get murdered all around the world... Niggas kill niggas, niggas kill whites, whites kill niggas, whites kill whites. And you think because two niggas killed a white man two weeks ago that uh, any nigga approaching you about anything is going to be to rob you? Your first thought is, is robbery? Well, actually, it couldn't have been robbery because you, she stated on the website that she didn't, she didn't feel threatened. If she felt threatened, she would have jumped in her car, but they shouldn't be allowed to do that. But my question is allowed by who? God can allow me to do anything I want to do. God can allow you to do whatever you want to do. You know? Unless you're hurting somebody else. Unless you're actually doing something to somebody else. You know? You pretty much can do what you want to do. You know? If you don't mind going to jail, if you commit a crime. But they weren't committing a crime. So what do you mean allow? So that's, that's a slavery term. Allow. <laughs> allow by who? So that's just my thoughts on it. Um... It really didn't mean it, it didn't hit hit me hard like oh I'm raging mad because it's, these people put my employees on a crime stoppers website. I'm not you know I'm not that that bothered with it because the people that that read that website weren't gonna buy anything from them anyway so yeah. <laughs> Do you have any thoughts on it? Um, is racism dead or is it alive? Is it alive and rampant or is it just a little bit alive? You know, just put your thoughts on it, what you think. Oh, and if you want to make some extra money, go to my website at www.easypaychecknow.weebly.com. You get, it's like a referral website, and you can get like $80 every time you get somebody to join. And, um, it's really good money. Alright, toodles. <laughs>